My name is Hinda, H-Y-N-D-A, L for Leah, L-E-A, which I never use, it's just the L, and Rudd. My, my name is very interesting. Jewish people are usually given an English name and a Hebrew or a Yiddish name. And I was born in 1936, and my given name was Harriet. And to this day, I remember it. It was in the second grade, if you can imagine. I came home, I was furious with my parents. Harriet was a very common name. And the nicknames they would give women called Harriet was Hattie and Harry. And I came home and I told my parents I wanted my name changed because I would not go through life being called either Hattie or Harry. So they gave me Hinda. Well, if you don't think I haven't been called absolutely everything under the sun with that name, you can't imagine. And my maiden name was Aronovich, so that was a real mouthful. So uh, I was named after my maternal great-grandmother, whose name was Hinda. How did your family end up in Utah? Very interesting. My father's family, uh, migrated from Romania. And there was a gentleman called Baron de Hirsch who used to fund people to come to America, this was in 1900, to pull Jews out of Europe and set them up in America. Well, my grandparents ended up in Canada. My father was born, he was the oldest of nine children, he was born in Saskatchewan and uh, they migrated to Great Falls. Then, uh, for some reason, I don't know how it ever happened, but they ended up in the furniture business. And Utah was a wonderful place. Ogden, Utah was almost the center of the railroad movement. And you could get furniture from anywhere on these railroads, so they won of my grandfather's brothers, brother-in-laws ended up in Ogden, Utah. My grandparents ended up in Salt Lake and another uh, uh, brother ended up doing all kinds of financial things. So that, that's how that came about. And then uh, my father met my mother. My mother was born in New York She's a third, she was a third generation American. And uh, from New York, her family moved to Denver. And my father came to Denver on a, uh, a, to look at furniture. There was a furniture mart or something going on in Denver. So he met a friend of his and this friend introduced my parents. And if you can believe, three days later they were engaged.